Dad, Dad, can I go on Nintendo, please? Dad, can I not go to school on Monday? No. Go to your room. <sighs> Don't you just love being a parent and controlling your kids? It's one of the best things about being a parent. Would, don't you want to be able to control your team's rooms using your PC? If so, stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, I am going to talk to you about how you can control your team's rooms system um, um, by using a Windows PC. I'm not talking about full remote control. I'm talking about... Um, the traditional control, call controls, um, instead of having to use a touch console, you can now use your laptop. You may have seen in previous episodes uh, or in previous Microsoft updates um, that you were able to use the Teams app on your mobile phone when inside of a Teams room, um, launch up the Teams app, launch remote control, and be able to actually control call experience inside of the room. Now, Microsoft has announced and launched it for Windows PCs. So if you uh, have a laptop and you're inside of a meeting room space, you can actually control that Teams Rooms device by using your laptop without the need of you having to actually go and use the touch console. Let me show you how that's done really, really easy. I'm going to go ahead um, and just share my desktop. You should see a blank desktop uh, appear, and I'm going to chuck myself just down here at the bottom. First thing we're going to do, and the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have Bluetooth switched on on your laptop. That's the number one thing. Unfortunately, if Bluetooth is switched off, it does not throw up any error messages or anything. Basically, you just can't find any rooms. So when you try searching for a room, it will just say no rooms found. Uh, I learned it the hard way. So make sure your Bluetooth is switched on on your laptop. That's number one. Uh, I'm not going to show you how that's done because you know, it's pretty easy. You can just type in settings or Bluetooth and in, in, in the search bar uh, and it will take you to that option. The next thing is we want to make sure our Teams Rooms devices are configured. Now, of course, this is available on both Windows and on Android. So I'm going to start off actually on the Android device. So you'll see on my screen um, my MTR or A, which is my um, HP Poly X52. Very easy. All you do is you go ahead and you hit the More button and go ahead and hit Settings. Now, regardless of which MTR and Android you're using, it'll be the same. As um, soon as you get within Settings, you hit the device settings. At that point, um, you'll notice admin settings. When you hit admin settings, it will then say, OK, what's your username? So your username, you enter that, and then whatever your password is, you pop that in there and hit the OK button. As soon as you've done that, you've got more uh, menus pop up. Now, it's not Bluetooth that we're after. What we want to do is we want to go over to Teams admin settings across there. Uh, and in MTR for Android, you want to go ahead and select meetings. So underneath meetings, when it opens up, you'll see all your different options pop up. And the one that you want to make sure that is switched on is this one here, allow remote control from personal devices. Now, by default, it should already be switched on. But if for any reason it's not, make sure that one is switched on across there. Um, now, on Android, there is no save button, so you just literally back out, and as you back out, it will save your settings for you. That's done for Android. How about on MTR for Windows? Let me show you how that's done. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just kick off my uh, MTR on Windows. So you'll see across here, I've got two screens. On the left-hand side, um, whichever way it is, on the left-hand side is my touch console. On the right-hand side uh, is my front of room display. Same principle. You hit the More button. You go ahead. You hit the Settings button. It then ask you for your password, so hopefully you've changed it, more secure than mine. Uh, and once you're inside of your settings, this time it's not under meetings. It does throw you off a little. Um, with Teams Rooms on Windows, you actually need to go down to device. As soon as you hit the device button, again, you'll notice just down here, allow remote control from personal devices. Make sure that's switched on. And as soon as it is switched on, you just hit that save and exit button, and that will take you back to your traditional screen. Now, um, what we're going to do now is we are going to join some calls. So I am going to minimize this and just open up one of my uh, invites across there. There we go. Wrong button. Uh, here we go. That's my invite. So I did make an invite, actually. Um, so I've invited my Teams Rooms on Android and Teams Rooms and Windows. Um, let me just increase that, actually. Send the update because we are at 4 p.m., which means that meeting has now vanished. So again, I'm going to go ahead, open up that meeting, we just minimize that, and join the meeting. So as normal, what you will find is, let me bring that window across here, you'll see the normal uh, kind of Teams 
pre-meeting window pop up where it says, hey, what computer audio do you want to use? What cameras you want to use? So I've got a camera sitting up there right now. Um, but you'll also notice there's an option here that says room audio as well. Um, if you've taken your laptop and you go into a meeting room space, and let's say you haven't booked out that particular room, but it's free, you can actually hit that room audio button. And what it will do is it will search for all the MTRs that are nearby. Um, and you'll see down here is it will show me pretty much all the devices that are connected to my laptop. Uh, but also down here, it will show my nearby rooms. Now, in my little office, you'll see just across there is my demo setup. I have my MTR for Windows and I've got my MTR for Android uh, all sitting kind of in this area. You can't see it all, but it's all there. Uh, and you'll notice I've actually got these options that have popped up here. Now, if you don't see the options, chances are your Bluetooth is switched off on your laptop. I learned it the hard way. So make sure Bluetooth is switched on, then you'll see them pop up. Um, and then, of course, if I did select this and join the call, it would actually join with the Teams Rooms audio and video, et cetera, and the camera. So that's a nice, easy way of doing it. Um, but for this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to act like I'm joining in from a laptop. Um, so I'm going to use my computer audio. I'm going to mute so we don't get no feedback. Um, and then simply hit the Join button. So I'll give that a couple of seconds. I'm now inside of that meeting. I'm going to make that a little smaller. Um, so here we are. You should see on screen right now that I'm in a meeting. I'm looking away because I'm got two screens to try and figure out what I'm doing here. This is where it's going to get confusing, right? Because I'm going to start bringing up different windows and you're going to see many, many different modes, which could be a scary thing. All right, let's head over. I'm going to drag this down here and let's head over to my Android device. So if I open up Android, let's make that window a little smaller and just chuck it up there. You'll see I now have my one to join. So I've got my test call. I'm going to go ahead and join that meeting. So hit the join button. I've muted it as well. If you move your eyes back down towards the bottom right-hand corner, uh, I need to admit it. So I'm going to go ahead and admit that MTR on Android. Classic mistakes. There we go. So so muted again. Um, I've, I've, I've added the Teams rooms on Android. So if I make this a little bigger, you'll see on the bottom right-hand corner is my desktop. Uh, I've got my Android device, which is here. I'm, I'm kind of waving to it. I've got my Teams Rooms device, which is, sorry, my my normal Teams device, which is that one up there. Um, now, maybe let's bring in the Windows device as well. So again, I'm going to open up my Windows device. So that's taken over the full screen. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. Chuck that up there. Put this one down here. In fact, let me make that a little smaller down here. There we go. So here on the top right hand corner is my Windows device and we are going to join that one as well into the meeting. So I hit the join button, pops up to say, hey, someone's waiting in the lobby. Admit, we may get some feedback and I'll mute that in a second. So admit. There we go. No feedback because I managed to hit it. So you'll see my windows are a little squashed, but uh, you'll see I've got my touch console here. And then, of course, I've got my Teams rooms and windows as well. So loads of modes could be a scary thing but you're seeing what's going on so just for context top right hand corner teams rooms and windows top left hand corner teams rooms and android right at the bottom is my laptop where i've joined into the meeting so the laptop that i've joined into the meeting this window here i'm just going to make it a little larger now i'm going to show you exactly how you would do that room control um so let's imagine we've dialed into a room uh, really easy so where you see MTR OA, that's my Android device. I'm going to simply go ahead and hit the three dots. You'll notice just here it says control room system. You hit the control room system. Give it a few seconds to load. You'll spot it on the right hand side with this spinny circle. Once it loads up, it will then give me the basic controls for that particular room. Now, don't forget, top left hand corner, which is that one there, top left hand corner is my Android device. So. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and change the layout. So you'll see if I hit layout button and I go gallery, it should change. Oh, sorry, not gallery, um, front row. It'll change it to front row, and it's pretty much instantaneous as well, which is uh, which is really cool. I have the ability to turn mics on, videos on, captions on and off. I'm not going to show you captions. That's only because the mics are switched off, so it's not going to pick anything up. And then, of course, volume as well. And again, if you're like me and you've got short arms, there's no need for you to reach over the table to hitch that touch console. I can now control that experience from my laptop. What does it look like if I'm using Windows? Same thing. Let me drag my window across here, and here's my Teams Rooms on Windows. 
again, same principle. Um, on my teams uh, on desktop, it's getting confusing. On my teams on desktop, I've got MTR away, hit the three dots, control room system, give it a few seconds. Um, if you're struggling, then it's generally to do with Bluetooth. So it could be the distance, et cetera. So, um, you know, you've got to be within within a decent space uh, to do it. Uh, but you'll see here on my desktop app, I've now got MTR away, which is my uh, uh, MTR away. MTROW, which is my Windows device. Uh, and again, same options. I've got the layout. So again, on my Windows device, if I want to switch it over to front row, I can switch it over to front row, which is uh, happening across there. I can turn captions on and off if I wanted to. I can turn the video on, turn the video off, um, have all of those abilities. And I've even got the option to just disconnect the whole room. So if I want to disconnect the room and end the call, you simply hit disconnect room. That will end the Windows device and that will then go back onto the standard screen. The only call currently running right now is my Android device, uh, which is that one across there or on the left hand side of your screen. So really, really easy. Um, this is getting confusing. There's too many modes across here. So I am going to just drop a window, keep one window big across there so you can see what's going on. Um, really, really easy thing to do, right? In fact, <laughs> it's really confusing. Let me remove that and bring myself back here again. There we go. Um, Key things to remember, turn Bluetooth on on your laptop, make sure the uh, settings are switched on on your Teams Rooms and Android, Teams Rooms and Windows, and then just join the call. Be within a reasonable distance, of course, because you're using Bluetooth, uh, and then you can control that experience. So that's nice and easy. Not only can you control your kids, like I did earlier on, but you can also control your Teams Rooms device. Remember, you can still do this on mobile. Now you can do it on Windows as well. Of course, if you have any questions, please do feel free to uh, drop them down below. Myself or a member from uh, the Microsoft team uh, will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Go and give it a bash. Try it out yourself. Um, with that in mind, the standard stuff, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I shall see you guys next week. Ciao.